So this little pebble sits on my office desk uh, and it's a bit of a, a nod to uh, the start of my news roundup this week uh, with some musings on a positive attitude and how that can create your reality. So welcome once again to the Friday News Roundup. It's a lovely sunny day so I'm going to make this really really short. Um, year 10 lessons have started this week uh, and Year 10s have been, as we expected, absolutely fantastic with their social distancing adherence and the lessons have gone really well. For me, I've done my first Year 10 lesson for the first time in three months. I think I've forgotten how to do it, teaching, uh, but uh, about 10 minutes in and I'm, I'm back on my mojo. Uh, so I've really enjoyed uh, my experience this morning uh, with Year 10s. So I thought I'd start the, the front end of the news roundup this week with the important bit, which is some of the work on the gallery. And as you know, the galleries are getting longer and longer each week. Uh, so here's a little bit of a taster of the kind of things that our students are doing in the gallery this week. So look at Jack Biffle here with his artwork. It's just superb. So well done Jack with that one. Uh, another one, this is just fantastic from Ellie Lawson. A great piece of artwork. Really superb. Uh, Courtney Orr there, the Duke of Edinburgh people are still working towards that qualification. That's fantastic to see. Music First, that online uh, platform, and we've got some pupils really going for uh, engaging with that one. So well done if you are top of the leaderboard for Music First. Uh, Jane Richards, one of a number of star pupils in our school who are committing themselves wholeheartedly, week after week, to producing great pieces of work. So well done, Jaden. Uh, Joel Byron, a bit of an engineer here, creating a boat. Again, just fantastic, fantastic work. And Lewis Pickering doing some great work towards his GCC coursework. So uh, when I finish my ramblings this week, do make sure you go to the gallery. There's about 50 odd slides of really fantastic work from across the full range of students in all the year groups. Okay, so a couple of reminders. Uh, number one is don't forget we're looking for uh, old school uniform that your child's grown out of. You can drop that at reception and we can make great use of that one. Uh, year 11s and year 12 students, don't forget that college course from Eton College in London. Uh, two courses available to you there. Please make sure you have a go at looking at what's available and really consider signing up to those. We spent a bit of time securing those as free courses for you and they'd be really valuable if you actually take time to look at what's available and engage with them. So get signed up. You've only got until the end of July and that offer expires. Uh, hot off the press, uh, so Mrs Patterson in the art department has been really busy over the last couple of weeks securing some fantastic additional opportunities. Now, this one is for our GCC art students in Year 10 and she's managed to, amazingly, get some Zoom calls with real life professional artists and it's an opportunity for you to tune in. Uh, and have some input from these professional artists around the work that they're doing and you can ask them questions uh, and support your work uh, for your GCSE. So there are specific times on here, this will be posted, check it out. So if you're doing Year 10 uh, GCSE artwork, um, really get engaged with those. That's a fantastic opportunity uh, not to be missed. Okay, best bit of the week again for me is always about the challenges. So congratulations to two people. The Governor's decided that was a joint winner for the Shock and Awe entries. Uh, and the two people who have won that first prize are Katie Challoner, well done Katie, and to Harry Craswell. Both of your uh, entries were really impressive. Uh, Governor Feedback was really, really positive about your contributions. So written up, here are your Amazon vouchers. We'll put those in the post for you uh, and enjoy the spend on those. Uh, if you were taking part in the challenge about understanding the staff at the Kings in terms of what would they take to a desert island, the food challenge for the family, the answers to that are posted on the website. If you didn't know, uh, my favourite food is party rings. Any excuse? Um, so have a look at that one. We've set a new one for getting to know a little bit more about the staff. And the one this week is we've asked the staff, um, what is it you love about being a teacher? So the staff have written a whole series of statements about what they love about being a teacher. Your job is to see if you can identify which member of the staff has written which statement. So again, that's on the website. Have a look at that one. And then the challenge I set last week, an important one for me, which is these pictures that we want to get on the banisters going around the um, central atrium area in the school. So if you remember, I was looking for um, four parables to be converted into images. And these are the year seven, eight and nine challenges again on the website. 
I've summarised on a piece of paper here essentially what those four parables are. So the first one is, can you create an image that represents, say sorry, forgive quickly, celebrate what is good. You must be able to come up with something for that one, guys. Second one, use the gifts you've been given well and you will be rewarded. Can you think of a picture that would really capture and represent that parable? The next one, God's offer of heaven includes everyone, just turn up. Picture for that one. And the final one, love everyone, even the people who are different to you. Now, come on, I've had a go at this one. And I've got my little group of triangles here. You can tell I'm a mathematician. Little group of triangles, and they love a square. He's different, but they still love him. Uh, you've got to be able to do better than that. So we're looking for four images that will represent those four different parables. The winning entries judged by the governors will be made into vinyls and they will last a long time on our balconies. So if you want to leave a legacy behind you when you've left this school, then get involved, see if you can come up with a great image, send your entries to the art department for some feedback, they'll kind of give you a steer and the winners of each of those parable pictures will get £20 for each image that they create. So if you've not been involved yet, get involved, you've got to be able to do better than a bunch of triangles and a square. Okay, I think uh, that is it for me this week in terms of a news roundup. There are uh, further details in my text, so do read that as well. Uh, all that remains for me to say is enjoy the, the sunny weather, be safe, uh, and the last thing you do before you go to bed tonight is please check out the gallery this week. It's full of fantastic work. Well done, students, and I will see you all again next Friday. Take care. Thank you.